Ain't this what y'all been waiting for? Yes, baby, I did it all. And I know it sounds like I've been complaining, but I had a great time overall in Bali. I've just been telling it like it is, and I'm going to continue to do so. Let's get it. Day six was my last full day. Outside bathrooms are cute for one day, not even a night, just a day. Because it's not cute having to tinkle outside at 3 a.m. I had to go back to the villa with the roosters because when I checked in, I made another stupid decision to prepay for my flower pool. This was before I knew about the roosters. Y'all, the villa did my flower pool. The villa did my flower pool. And one more time, because y'all act like y'all don't watch the video in the comments. The villa and the villa employees did the flower pool. I paid them directly when I checked in. And one more thing, do not ask me who did my flower pool. Don't ask me nothing. I had breakfast and got on live while they did it. So if you was on that live, hey. It took them a little less than three hours for them to finish. They started a little bit after eight and was done by 11. So yeah, this was the finished product. And yeah, some mistakes might have been made. My guide said I should have had it turned around. Like basically my name on the other side of the pool. So when I come out, I'd be at the bottom. But yeah, um, I ain't listen. I just wanted to stand at the top of my name. Like y'all see me on top of the Shaniki and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I would have had it the other way around I also hired a drone pilot and they were some scammers y'all But here's some footage from their cameras as you can see there were a lot of leaves covering my words Which is okay mistakes were made on my part for booking this place and the direction of the letters But I just want to know as a photographer who literally does this for a living Why wouldn't he say that like that one leaf could have been easily moved not damaged because I understand it's nature, but I promise we was not going to hurt that one leaf by moving it out the way so it wouldn't block the words. And the reason I called them scammers because they gave me one price based off a battery of the drone. Then when it was time to give me my pictures, they said they used two. I'm like, I cannot believe y'all got down on me like this. And if I knew the video was going to be blocked by a leaf, I would have told them where they can kiss it. But they got their little money and I respected the scam. They asked me was I ready to jump in after we took all our videos. And I know y'all just seen me 40 feet below in a 200 foot pool a week ago. But I was not jumping in no pool. I'm scared of water getting up my nose. But I did walk in very carefully and come out from under. And yeah, this was the video of that. So yeah, three hours to set up, three minutes to mess up. But wait, y'all, let me tell you why my guide is literally the best. He like, hey, you want to do a flower bath? I'm like, sure. Y'all, this villa was really nice. I never said it wasn't. It was purely the roosters messing up their motion. It had the perfect setup for a flower pool. So he took the flowers from the pool and made me a flower bath. And I got some content with that. It was very pretty and relaxing. The, the bathtub that they had there was really big. So it made for a nice flower bath. So I did get sort of a two for one with the flowers, which made me happy. I realized later that flower baths is where you show your ass and I forgot. All the still images are on that other app. TikTok, do your thing. I couldn't wait to get up out of there because even though I was just there for the flower pool, that took three hours plus another hour for the bath. That's four hours I had to sit there and listen to them roosters. I got some sushi from this place because I wanted something light because I had a little date with somebody I met on the first day. Y'all, I love how smoothies and fresh pressed juices are a part of most of the menus in Bali, even if it's just one or two options. America, take note. I got two rolls. One was really good and one was really bad. And I wish I went out to the Black and Bali mixer then my date like I was supposed to but I fell asleep at 6 p.m and I woke up at 2 a.m and that was my last full day in Bali a little bit of sad that I didn't go out with a bang but yeah